Hello everybody, and welcome to my let's play, my blind let's play, I guess it's a blind play, of Pony Soda. Uh, or Persona Pony, I guess. <laughs> to my oldest and dearest friends, I know it's been a whole year since I've left to teach at Princess Lusty's school for gifted unicorns, and a whole four years since I became friends with you. But the school year has ended, and I'm ecstatic to tell you that I'm going to be on my way home soon. I'll be taking a chariot back to Ponyville on the first day of March. As soon as I have my things packed and up and ready to go, I'll be on my way home again. I can't wait to see you all again, it's been so long. Your friend, Twilight Sparkle. This is where the opening animation would go, but we don't have one. Sorry. That's okay, Pinkie Pie, I'll forgive you. <laughs> you were shaken by the sound of the chair at landing. Oh, we're here already. Thank you, sirs. Why is it so empty? My friends didn't even meet me yet. Did I give them the wrong time? I did give them the time, right? Perhaps Spike didn't get the letter. I hope it wasn't lost. Maybe I sensed it incorrectly? Oh, they're busy working, that must be it. I couldn't possibly expect them to take off time for their work to just to visit me either. Earlier. Outside of the library. I guess no pony can make it after all. Sigh. Quick. <laughs> Every pony is crammed into your old home in the same fashion as your first day in Ponyville. Surprise! What? What's going on? Girls. Daytime. Evening. Ooh-wee! You should have seen him, Twilight. The look on their faces when one of them got their kitty marks after he was hop around so much, I think they finished fixing the barn up. Time for supper. Sweetie Belle was absolutely glowing when she got hers. She wouldn't stop seeing the entire night. But I didn't have the heart to stop it, darling. Yeah, but the little squirt story was the best. First thing she did was run up to me and ask if I could help her come up with more tricks on that scooter of hers. We've got this awesome one where I fly over her and... Applejack has expertly kept Rainbow Dash's mouth shut. Hmm. <laughs> I know y'all want to talk about what's been going on back here. But maybe it's Twilight's turn to talk. Now shoot it, cube. What's been happening on your side? Who's there? It was really exciting. It was really exciting. At the school, I got to talk to the princess sometimes between my classes, too. Our students are very eager to learn, which is, which is all of them. <laughs> Rainbow Dash. It's a like Apple Jack. I'm just glad to be back. I really missed you all. How is everybody else doing here in Ponyville? Ooh, Mr. and Mrs. Cake are doing great. They're still baking, but they've taken care. <clears throat> they've got to take care of their kids, so I run the shop sometimes. I have all these new recipes. They're big sellers now. You've got to try them sometime. Your turn, Fluttershy. Oh, I, um, have some new animal friends, I guess. That's kind of new, I suppose. I don't really want to bother you with all the animals, unless you don't mind, that is. Spike yawn. She looks tired. I do suppose it's getting late. Perhaps, perhaps it would be good to call it night. Every pony decides to head home. I've seen you've done a great job taking care of the library while I was gone, Spike. Thank you. 
Ah, uh, it was nothing. I had a lot of help from Owlicious, too. <laughs> you start to feel a tear in your eye. Spike is growing up so fast. I'll make sure to thank him later, then. Have you talked much to Sunny Sky? She used to come here to the library so often to chat. Perhaps I should hear her visit tomorrow. And Spike's is you tell yourself that you'll pay a visit to Sunny Sky's house tomorrow and go to sleep. Evening. Late evening. Ah, oh, sweet, the velvet room. Haha. <laughs> I figure most people, well, maybe. I don't know, anyways. Big persona thing. You open your eyes and find yourself in an unrecognizable room. Welcome to the velvet room. Holy... <laughs> you're horrifying, but I suppose so is Igor. Man, you remind me of uh, Pinky when she's, like, Pink Mina. Oh, you are Igor. I thought you were a girl. Sorry, Igor. My name is Igor. It's been long since I've had... Since I've seen such an interesting guest. This place exists between dream and reality. Mind and matter. However, I am getting ahead of myself. Only those who have made a contract may, en may enter here, and those who have, I am bound to serve. I have brought you here in your dreams to offer you one such a contract. All you must do is sign your name here. You, sc you, scan, the <clears throat> you scan the contract for any fine print. Look all you wish, I will not stop you, however there is but one thing, and one thing only upon the contract. Simply ask that you take responsibility for your actions, or reluctantly you decide to sign the contract. Splendid. It seems you... <clears throat> Splendid. It seems you have already taken responsibility for yourself. Proven by your signature here, as promised, I am now at your service, as is my assistant, Margaret, another resident of this world like myself. Huh, maybe they're, uh, what is it, 63 Seriously. Oh, well, I don't know, Margaret, it, I think it's the faces, I'm used to this face being used for for the guy, always. Um. Hello, I'm here to assist you. I'm here to assist you in your journey as well. There's much to talk about. We will save that for another time. It seems you're about to begin your first steps of this journey. I believe this is your stop. We will meet again, I'm sure. Until then, farewell. You're surrounded by fog, there's not much to do except wander. Let's see, and pretty soon we're gonna have to cut this short, but anyways, this is really cool. Um, despite the fact that it's been mostly just, you know, continuing on with talking and stuff, it's been pretty fun. Okay, so let's leave it at a cliffhanger, and... Thank you for watching, um, and I'll just start right back up from where we left off, so it's, you know, not that much of a cliffhanger. Goodbye, everybody.